this video we're going to talk about pilasters. This is a pilaster. Some people call it a buttress. It depends on what you use it for. So we started from the footer, we came up, we changed bond, and then we brought it into a 12 and an 8. So I'm going to show you how I did it. This is the first one I'm showing you. I'm going to show you two more styles of uh, buttresses and pilasters. Then you get an idea how we build them in the real world. I'm going to explain about this pilaster that you're going to see me building. I have a 12 inch wall here and I had a strength in it. So what I did was I came over here with a, an 8 and then I used one of these, a sash block we call them. I went on top of it this way. Uh, I put the 8 behind it. Maybe if I had to do that I would cut a cap to fit. See how that works? And then I would come over here with another 12 and come across here with my 12s like this. So you're getting the picture. You'll see me building it. And then right here would be an 8. Just like that. And then as I went to the top, I come out with another sash block. So that's the way I did it. Now when you're building these things, you can basically build them any way you want. Suppose you wanted to go a little farther. Or you just gotta get a little creative. Say so you wanted to go out farther. And you can go like this. One. You can put a 12 here, I'm just, I'm just saying, maybe the cap are going back. So all you got to do is kind of lay it out dry and figure out how you're going to do it. There's a lot of different ways of doing it. On. This whole wall right here is getting filled with concrete inside, but I'm building my pilaster, so I cut myself a little piece of uh, door wall. Get this on here, and what I'm doing is I'm going into the rest of the wall with it. The first one was an 8, now I'm using a 12 inch block, and that is going to go inside the wall. That's what's going to give that the strength. Right there. Like that. It's all gonna get buried, I ain't too worried about it. That's gonna go up. Like that. And this block right here. against it. You see that? What I did now is I ran a course of eights through. That's my 12 inch sash. So now I'm just going to put another eight in. Like that. That's how I'm going to keep going. I'll put another 12 here, then another 8 here. That locks the whole wall together. I'm continuing my pilaster. And a row of 8's here. This is where the brick ledge is going to be, is out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another sash here. Like this. This was all filled solid with concrete the day before. That's gonna go like that. I fill it 
about in solid as I go. And the next time I go across here with my 12s, this will be an 8 inch block again. Here's the pilaster I've been working on. If you look way down there, it goes way down to the bottom. And the carpenter told me keep 18 inches up. Here's my two rods, so I'm going to stop it right here. Just fill this right in like that. Real simple, like. Fill that right in to complete it. Just like that. Rods go right to the top. I'm going to finish it off with a two inch cap, just like that. So that's it. We just clean the top up and we're done with our pie blaster. have to put a pilaster up up this wall right here so all it has to be is an 8 inch block and the only thing a pilaster does is it's extra support so I'm already down on the footer I'm gonna make my couple marks where the rods go in right there so we're gonna drill into the footer right there and put a couple rods in Now we put the rods in the in the footer. One thing I want to say is we're building this pilaster, it's gonna hold up a beam. Anytime you're putting in a pilaster, you gotta look up and make sure you don't have anything going like this. I put my level against my brick. And it's pretty good, but it's bumpy. This brick could go out an inch and a half, so not only am I going to keep it work for the brick, but I'm going to keep it out two, two and a quarter inches. That'll compensate for any of this going on in the building. I'm not worried about heights. I'm just going to lay it down here, just like that. Throw it in. All that's going to do is just lay in there, like that. This will be the first one. Going in like that. I'm going to be filling these solid as we go. All the way up gets filled solid. Now we're going to go up with our second block. All right, now we're gonna put a piece of rebar in to the concrete wall. And if you notice, I'm doing a little bit sideways. The reason I'm doing a little bit sideways is because one will go this way and one will go this way. That keeps the wall from pushing out from the front. Next block will go right on top of the rebar. If I have to saw my block, I have to. What I'm doing is giving you a general idea. Alright, that's where the pilaster is going, and right here I got myself a plumb bob. You see it? And I got to go all the way up there, and the sun's in the way. But they're hanging it up there like that. So I know where the plumb bob ended up on the corner, and I just put a nail in here. And I tie this right around here, like that. And then I follow my. <coughs> Follow my line all the way up with the block work. I got my line up and uh, I'm continuing with my pilaster. So go all the way to the top. Two inch cap back here. Follow my line, right there. Can't go wrong. Fill it all solid. Make sure it's all solid. Get our rod way down there. That's it. And we just keep continuing. Okay, we got the scaffolding here. 
Okay, very good. Okay, thank you, Honest Mike. You got it, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, building the pie laster. I followed my line all the way up. So I couldn't follow it no more. Rod it in here good. And just keep going up. And I cap it off and I'm done. So the same thing on this pie laster. We put it all the way down to the bottom. Put our caps on top. You can see how it goes down. That's our pie laster. See the conduit behind the wall here? Anytime you're drilling, you gotta be real careful that you don't be drilling into the conduit. So I either do it that way. What I gotta do is just smash into the block and then come out here with a wall tie. Building the pie laster here. A lot of different ways guys use it. Some use wall ties, some use uh, rebar, some use the door wall. No matter what you want to use, some guys will just drill and put the wall ties in with the, the screws. I'm just going to do this, put it in, maybe I'll use the rebar. I know it's going to stay in there. I just built so you have to hit a certain height there and this is my level and how you know you got a good level is you turn it this way and then you turn it this way and that's how you know you got a good level that means the pilaster is plumb